Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have some news that makes me no longer a liar, and I have to appreciate that. And that is the fact that Unreal Engine now has experimental support for a new water system. Now the part of it that made me a liar is, back in September 25th, Unreal Engine 4.26 Preview 1 was released, and I stated that it had... A new water system uh, taking from Fortnite that was a nice new feature. Now, I never actually tested the feature out when I did my rundown on it. I instead focused more on the new Chaos Destruction system, and that was a mistake because, quite frankly, uh, yeah, that water, that water plugin, as you can see from this edit, yeah, it did make it in. Uh, and actually, it didn't make it in Preview 2 either, but today, good news, Preview 3 was released, technically it was yesterday that it was released, and uh, yeah, we have water now, although interestingly enough, it's nowhere in this release notes, everything here is basically just uh, fixes. But if you head on down, the first comment after water, well, yeah, that's when water was added in. Now, I got to give you a bit of a heads up notice. It's a little iffy right now. If you really want to use a water system like today, you're probably better off using the, uh, what is it, UWIS that we covered a couple weeks ago as a free asset because this this has got some, some work to do. But really, what's here is quite nice. Now, this is the... Um, this is the map that ships with it. If you want to check out the water system, by the way, this is a plugin. So go on into edit, plugins, just search here for water. And what you want is, predictably enough, water. Now, shallow water, confusingly enough, that is a completely different thing. So here we are in the water system, and there's a couple things to be illustrated in this particular example. We have three bodies of water going on here. We have the ocean, which is this big kind of uh, ever-present guy right here. We have a lake. And we have a river. Now, uh, there are a couple of known issues. Actually, to be honest, there's quite a few known issues here in that a lot of things are currently kind of, I don't know, broken. For example, you can see here, uh, this is a blueprint for doing shore foam. And you can see all kinds of parts of it are broken. Now, they did a um, screencast a couple weeks back showcasing all of the features and functionality in this system. And I will admit, a lot of those things currently do not work. But I can show you the basics of it in action. Yeah, uh, here is the example you can see. So again, we've got a lake, a river, and then if you get out here, we've got an ocean. And they'll interact. They've actually got shaders for handling the two different water types and so on. So let's show you this kind of from the beginning. So once you've enabled that plugin, we'll go ahead and create a new level here, like so. And first, if we're going to have some water, we're probably going to want to have some terrain. So let's go here. Uh, we will create some landscape. Uh, like so, uh, let's go ahead and sculpt this guy. Oops, I didn't create my landscape. All right, let's go back here. We'll create our landscape. All right, we're good to go. Now we'll do some sculpting. I'm just gonna go ahead and here, let's drop the world around our area. So we've got, this is actually kind of nice because we got a bit of our floor here and we've got our train going around and let's, let's just raise it up in the background here just so we got some nice contrast going on. All right, so here we got an uneven world. Um, and now I'm just gonna leave uh, sculpting mode. We're good to go. We got our train to work with. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a lake. Now a lake is uh, a finite sized body of water and an ocean is gigantic. A lake is smaller, has a different set of waves and so on. And then we have streams. So here we're gonna go ahead and do a lake. By the way, uh, the transition between lake and river is currently broken as well. And for some reason, I can't get oceans to work at all. All right, so we're where did the lake go? All right, here's our lake. We'll drop it in the scene. There you go. We got a lake. So now you can see it, kind of how it affects everything. We've got a standard move operator on it, but the lake is ultimately, the bounds of it are being controlled by these spline points right here. So we could go ahead and just sort of move them out. We might want to go ahead and add a new spline point on to get the definition we want. We basically just size the lake out so that it encompasses our world. Come on, spline point. All right, let's just move you down here, move you back up, and all right, so I did a, I did a pretty big botch job of my spline points here, but all of this area is covered in lake. So for example, if I go back here to the uh, landscape mode and I drop down, there you see we have a lake between, by the way, if I connect those two together, the water will flow just like the spice. So the cool thing here, we have uh, a lake in action now. I can go on down, let's look a little bit closer at the lake. Uh, if you go into the lake, you can turn it on so that you can see water underground. So you see here we've got, ooh, I'm still in sculpt mode. Let's go out of here, select, all right. So let's go down, so there you see there's a shader for under the water, 
and above the water, like so. Um, and you see we've got rippling waves going on. There should be sea foam coming up where it collides with things. At the same time, if you drop something into your world, for example, let's go ahead and create a sphere. Let's drop that into the world. Bring it to the surface. You'll see there, you get the ripple effect. So automatically, wow, my, my speed is way too high. All right. See if that's all right. A little bit better. So there you can see you get the ripple effect immediately of objects colliding in the world. Um, yeah, so that is creating a lake. Once you've got your lake set, you've got a number of things you can control over here. Uh, let me go actually select my lake so I can show you this. Uh, you've got curves here that you can control how fall off works. Uh, so the edge of the water, how how it transitions into. Uh, from lake to not lake. Uh, you've got control over here of things like uh, special effects, uh, blurring, blur radius, curling, displacement, so on, terracing. Uh, you got ability to create waves. You got a wave here off the default. Let's go back over here. You'll see into the water content. And come on. Come on, there you are. All right, so you'll see here, there's actually a category for waves. So we've got uh, Gerstner waves for lake, and for ocean, you can go ahead and create a new wave type if you wish. I've already done that. We've got mic waves. Let's drop some mic waves into the world. Now, mic waves are a little idiotic because I, I put the uh, I put the wave amount way too high. But you've got control over individual things. Let me just undock that so you can see this in action. So you've got control over the number of waves, the random seed behind it, the randomness between waves. Uh, I have right now this set, I think, way too high, and that's causing the... Uh, the mass rolling you're seeing in the background. All right, so yeah, so we don't have these massive rolling, stupid sized waves going here. But you see here, you've got control over the general direction of the waves, uh, the spread of the direction, the steepness of waves. So there, see, we got some pretty solid ripple going on there. We can obviously turn that down to be a little bit less insane. So there it is, you've got fine tuned control over your waves. You've also got a couple different algorithms for handling how waves are actually done. So if I went back here and showcased, uh, here, let's drop, back to the lake waves, the, the normal ones that aren't screwed around with. Um, come on, I'll go into that guy. You'll see here, you've got different options available to you. Okay, I can't find them now. Where did you go? Doesn't really matter. You've got a couple of different generation options for waves. Might've only been on the ocean waves. That might be why I'm not seeing it here. You'll notice we're getting a little bit of clipping problems as we go here too. Now, the other thing that we've got in this guy that works, so you've got the ocean, the giant one, we've got um, the lakes that we're seeing here. And then the other one, and like I said, currently the transition between a lake and a river are currently bugged, but we also have rivers. Uh, rivers are pretty straightforward as well. Let's just kind of move things up here. And I'll just go ahead back to my sculpting mode. All right, there we go. Let's sculpt that and we'll, there we go. So there is the end of our lake uh, as defined by our spline. And here we're heading off into the, the wild. So that's why we're not getting water as we move down here. But now in this space, what I'm going to do is go on back here to place actors, go back here to select mode, uh, go back here to water. And what we want now is a river. So we've got over here, body river, we drop a river into a scene. And then once again, it is controlled by spline control points. And you basically set where the river is going to go. Again, I do believe that right now, the transition between a lake, like so, and a river is not effective right now, but you will see immediately river waves. And then as we move up, sorry, lake waves, and then into the river waves, you should have a different speed, a different distance, a different behavior. And then the, the river itself has a variety of, of different controls here. It's got a different water uh, material applied to it. They've got a number of pre-made materials for you. Uh, so there, for example, is the material for uh, a river. They've got, if you go back over here to uh, the material stuff, you will find um, we got water material, lake, ocean, river, Etc. already defined for us. You can obviously go in and tweak them to your heart's content. Uh, but again, I am finding some of these things are currently quite broken. Uh, so for example, the stuff here, uh, the uh, I don't think buoyancy actually worked for me. The fluid simulation stuff, it, it didn't work for me. We're not getting uh, foam at the edge of the the river which should be working and in place so um, it is an initial release and there is going to be some stuff coming soon. But you can see already there's some 
Some pretty cool functionality going on here. Uh, again, rivers controlled by splines kind of follow their path. And you can see the, the bounding wreck shows where a river goes. So now we don't have a river coming through here, but what I could do, once again, is come back here uh, into sculpt mode. And then if I follow where I drew the river, you can see we get river where there is river. But if I go over here, outside of where it's marked, no river. All right, so that's basically it. We got lakes, which are big kind of, um, but defined bodies of water. We got rivers, obviously you can see uh, more of a spline path controlled. And then we got oceans, which for some reason I can't get to work right, which are large shores. And then there should be a lot of things here that should be working better. Uh, the shorelines, the transition between the two water types and so on. But you do have a lot of control over this system. And one thing I have noticed though, that you can't do here, that other fluid systems that I've used in the past can. And again, this may be down to me. There is like literally zero document. Oh, I gotta get out of my sculpting mode. There's like literally zero documentation on this guy. All there is is that one screencast from two weeks ago that showcased a version that didn't work. Uh, there's no written documentation as of yet, but what I have found is I can't make my river go downhill. Uh, it just, so if I add verticality to my river and then I go back here into sculpt mode and I add verticality, oops, wrong way. If I add verticality into my map, like so, I don't get a waterfall like I would have expected. So I, I don't know, again, if this is my usability that's wrong here, but I would have expected the river to follow uh, vertically, but it doesn't seem to. It basically, you set a minimum height and anything below that is a river, which is kind of funny because we can actually just keep going down. I can just make this the Marianas Trench if I want, just keep kind of drilling down, making it deeper and deeper and deeper, and this river will just keep going. So basically, this is all underwater. So that... Uh, the, the lack of a Z order on, on the river stuff seems a little weird. Now, I can understand why you would have an ocean and a lake be relatively flat because, well, frankly, that's kind of how they work. But rivers go up and down vertical surfaces, and it doesn't seem like that is supported as of yet. But really, there's some really interesting stuff going on here. It works, again, with the stuff you've got uh, going on. So here we see a mesh in the scene, this guy right here. And as it moves around, it's, it's interacting with the water uh, systems in place. So hopefully we can see those other things get fixed soon. Uh, but if you do check out what they did in that full two hour long demonstration of the water systems, it can do a heck of a lot. So I, I'd be interested to see once some documentation comes online for this so I can formally see how to set everything up and go. But it is definitely an interesting first start. Now it is not ready for prime time, but then again, this is, as you can see, uh, but this here is tagged as an experimental um, system. So you can't really expect much more than that. But anyways, that is the new water system built into the Unreal game engine. What do you think? Ah, yeah, so you see some glitching for sure there. Uh, it is early and it is experimental, but it also looks quite good already. And if you watch again, that two hour stream, I'll link that in the linked article down below. It, it's capable of some very impressive stuff. It just doesn't seem like we got the full version as of yet. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.